day learners! Welcome to our new video. For today's video, we're gonna talk about plants. Do you know how plants use sunlight? It is with the help of green pigment called chlorophyll found in the chloroplast. About 90% of red and blue energy or light gets absorbed and all the green light reflects, which is why we see green. Plants are an important part of our life. They provide us with all the necessary for us to survive. But have you ever stopped to think about how they work? Plants are made up of many different parts that carry out functions needed to keep the plant alive. The external part of the plants are composed of three main parts, the roots, the leaves, and the stem. Each part has a unique function to keep the plant healthy. The roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and attach the plant to the ground. The stem supports the plant above the ground and transport the water and the minerals to the leaves. Now let us move to the next part which is the cross section of the leaf. The leaf starts with the cuticle which helps retain water inside the leaf cells. Next is the epidermis, which is the outermost layer of the leaf, which covers the upper and the lower surface of the leaf. The upper prevents water loss and transmits sunlight for photosynthesis. In the lower epidermis, you will see some openings. Each opening is called the little mouth or the stomata. This is where carbon dioxide enters and oxygen passes out. Around the stomata is a pair of bean-shaped cells called guard cells. Guard cells is a sclerenchyma that helps to regulate the rate of transpiration through the opening and closing of the stomata. Between the upper and lower epidermis, you can see layers of cells. This is called the mesopyl layer or the middle leaf which is the tissue that builds most of the interior of the leaf and is composed of palisade cells that are arranged like columns and spongy cells which are loosely arranged cells. The upper layer which captures sunlight and carries out most of the photosynthesis is the palisade mesophyll. The second layer is the spongy mesophyll and it contains rounded cells with fewer chloroplasts. The cells are loosely packed and separated by a large airy space. The veins of the leaf are made from vascular tissue and part of those veins are the xylem and phloem. The xylem transport waters and minerals from the roots, stems, and throughout the leaves, while the phloem transports sugar to the source tissue. Last but not the least is the chloroplast. Chloroplast is located in the cytoplasm of plant cells. They are located in the mesopyl cells present between the upper and lower epidermis of the cells. Chloroplast's most important function is to synthesize food by the process of photosynthesis. It absorbs light energy and converts it into chemical energy. There are two unique parts present inside the chloroplast known as the grana and the stroma. The grana are the sites of conversion of light energy into chemical energy. It is made up of stalks and disc-shaped structures known as thylakoids. Thylakoids are membranes contains photosystems, which are composed of group of molecules that includes chlorophyll or a green pigment. Chlorophyll is a green photosynthetic pigment that helps in the process of photosynthesis. It traps solar energy and uses it for synthesis of food in all green plants. On the other hand, stroma is similar in the cytoplasms in the cell where all the organelles are embedded. It is colorless, alkaline, aqueous, and protein-rich fluid present within the inner membrane of the chloroplast surrounding the grana. Stroma function by connecting the stacks of the thylakoids. Membrane envelope composes the inner and outer lipid bilayer membranes. The inner membrane separates the stroma from the intermembrane space. Intermembrane space is the space between the inner and outer membranes. Did you know that not all plants have leaves that are green in color? Some have red, yellow, or orange leaves. There are three kinds of primary pigments in the plants. Chlorophyll, which are the green color carotenoids, which are the yellow or yellow-orange color, anthocyanins, 
red, or purple color. The color of the leaf is determined by the pigment which is present in the highest concentration. So that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.